Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, my name is Bemi, welcome. I'm doing another I'm late again video. I am so late again. And this time, it's gonna be on this bad boy right here. This is the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction Mothership 5 palette. I've had this thing for a good minute. I've had this for, I think, about five months now, and uh, I have not touched it. I have not used it at all. I don't know how, but I have not used it. Oh, before we get into the video, I almost forgot. If you're new, hi, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below. It's that big red subscribe button. Yeah, tap that button as well as don't forget to tap the notification bell. So if you want to be notified of when I upload, which I promise I will be more consistent. I am so sorry. But if you want to be notified for when I upload videos, make sure you tap that notification bell. Yeah, doing first impressions, showing how I feel, how it blends, and everything. So if you're interested, make sure you keep on watching. And if you are not, stop right here. Click out of the video. It's not worth your time and effort if you're not interested. This is the palette. <laughs> this is the Pat McGrath Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction Palette. This is the outer packaging. It is so beautiful. Like, this is something that this is a box you would not i just love the artwork it's very luxe looking and yeah i just love it pat's packaging has always been like that and i just love how luxe they look i do have other pat products i have the metal Morphosis kit that came out about three and a half years ago two and a half three and a half years ago i have the dark star kit um i have a couple of her lipsticks i have a couple of her lip glosses um I have the mascara which I'll be using today and I really like her product. You're probably thinking, sis, why would you spend $125 on it? <laughs> I did not. Um, I actually saved up my Sephora points for like the last like four or five years and I finally had enough points and I traded it in for a $100 reward code and uh, I also had additional gift cards that I got like for Christmas and stuff and I used it on here's the palette like I said it has fingerprints on it already because I've I've literally just picked it out and swatched it and then put it back but this is what it looks like this is the palette it's very very heavy <laughs> it's a very heavy palette you can tell that a lot of thought went into the palette packaging because it feels heavy you can probably hit somebody over the head with this or like throw this and your shadows are not gonna break inside the box you also get a card with all the names of the shadows in them in the corresponding order in the palette this is the palette if you haven't seen it already it's beautiful it's a neutral lover's dream how many mats does it have in here uh, it has three mattes and then seven shimmer satin metallic shades, which is good because it has a deepening shade, a transition shade, and then, yeah, two transition shades and a deep shade for me, which is really, really good because I like my transition. Yeah, I've swatched these before. They feel really buttery. They feel really silky when I swatched them. Um... I'm not gonna swatch them because you've probably seen swatches of these already. I'm gonna put them on my eyes. I did my base and everything already. Um, I will link everything that I used in the description bar down below. Um, I have not put highlighter on or my lipstick yet. I was thinking about doing like a red lip glam luxe vibe today. So let's do that. So as you can see, I'm zoomed in. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, the palette. Um, I'm gonna start off with this like medium brown shade. It's called Disobedient. So I'm gonna take that on a brush and I'm just gonna start working that into my crease. I prime my eyes by the way. Um, I use my P. Louise base if anybody's wondering. No people's like P. Louise is canceled. I'm not wasting my base. Mm -mm, I'm not chucking it out. Um, I will use it till it's dead. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start packing that on my eye. I'm just using a little bit. I could see just from putting it on 
uh, it's very pigmented and it's kind of like, I don't know if it's oxidizing or what, but it's not the same color as it is in the pan. I don't know why, but it's not showing up the same color. Yeah, it's not the same color as it is in the palette, but I'll work with it. I'll work with it. I'm just placing it on my outer corner. As you can see, this definitely has a drier texture compared to a lot of shadows I've used before. I just dipped it in and then I'm placing it on. So you do not need to swirl your brush in it. All you need is like two dips and then boom, you've got all of this pigmentation. Next, I'm gonna take this shade, which is the lightest of all the mattes and it's called Entrapment. And I'm just gonna run that on the edge of where I put Disobedient down. This is just gonna help blend that out. I feel like even though these two shades look pretty warm in the palette, on my eyes, I don't know if it's because I'm in like a neutral warm undertone, they're pulling a little bit cool on me from what I can see. I don't know if you guys can see it too, but it's, they're pulling quite cool on me. Hopefully that doesn't affect the final result of the look when I put the shimmers on top, but that's something I'm noticing as I'm going. There's not a lot of kickback in the palette from what I see. There's only very little, which is really, really good um, because normally when I use eyeshadows, they can normally uh, kick up quite a bit, which I'm not saying that with this, so that's pretty good. Um, next, I'm gonna take this bronzy shade called Bronze Blaze. I'm just gonna take that all over my lid. I'm not wetting it because I wanna see how intense this can get. This is a very pigmented bronze shade. It's not too warm and it's not too cool of a bronze. It's like a good neutral bronze color, which I'm really happy about. And what I can see, it's not really like a true metallic shadow. It's more like of a glittery metallic from what I can see. And I don't see any fallout on my face, which is <laughs> really, really good. I'm gonna take my fluffy brush that I use for entrapment. And I'm just gonna run that on the edge of where I put bronze blaze down. And then back into disobedient and then just kind of feather it into bronze blaze, the color that I used on my outer corner. I'm gonna go in to this shade right here. This shade is called Astro, Astro Lunar Gold. That's what the color looks like. It's really, really pretty. It's like a dual chrome shade. I'm gonna take my finger, I'm just gonna tap that and place that on top of that bronze blaze. And you see what that does? It's so beautiful. It just amplifies that bronze blaze shade. It just takes it to the next level. Like, it's so gorgeous. So now I'm gonna go into the darkest matte in the palette. This is called Extreme Aubergine. And I'm taking an angled brush and I am just gonna do a little bit of a smoky liner. This shade is not showing up unless I put it on my outer corner. I don't know. Like, it feels, I feel like it works better with the other mattes. I feel like it shows up when it comes to when you put it over the other mattes first, putting over the shimmer. 
I'm gonna take a pencil brush and deep aubergine, extreme aubergine, my bad. And I'm just gonna blend that into the outer corner. So the smoky liner just kind of diffuses into everything else. And it doesn't look super harsh. It's not just like a line, you know. I'm switching to a different brush because it seems like this shade seems to be the stiffest out of the three mattes. And I could still see the line where I originally placed it down. Come on, buff out. I hope that works a little. Just buffing it in. And then, seems like it's not really diffusing at all because I could see that line. Where you put it down? I need another brush because I don't, I don't know, it's this one shade. Deep aubergine, extreme aubergine, why do you do this to me? Next, I'm just gonna take my black eyeliner and smudge that into my waterline. And slightly below my lash line. Like so. Then I'm gonna take Extreme Aubergine again. Smudge on the outer part of my eyes. Yeah, this is definitely the stiffest color. I'm gonna take Disobedient mixed with Entrapment and put that right on top slash below it. I'm gonna go in with a different brush and a little bit of Fix Plus and mix Bronze Blaze, this bronze shade, as well as this shade, which is Skin Show Divine Glow. I'm just gonna stick this in my inner corner, just to highlight. So now I'm going to do my lashes and mascara. Um, for mascara, I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. Since this is a Pat McGrath video, I just thought it would be cool just to use the mascara. And then um, for my lashes, I'm going to be using the Allure by AV Sovereign Lash. I have been obsessed with Allure by AV Lashes. They're a black-owned and Nigerian-owned brand based in Houston, Texas and uh i really like their lashes i typically wear rounded style of lashes since my eyes are quite round and uh these plus the eowl and the lavish lashes have been my go-to lashes The eyes are done, now we're just gonna finish up the face, which is just highlighting and adding my lipstick. So for a highlighter, I am going to be using the Ars Couture Dabbing Glow Powder in Lickable. It's a really pretty bronze highlight. Look how pretty that is. That's just so pretty.
And then for lips, I'm going to be going into my Colored Rain Cherry Blossom Lip Paint. It's a beautiful blue-based red. Oh, this is my makeup fully done once I've applied the highlighter and the lipstick on my face. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Besides me just gawking at this look, let me get into the nitty gritty of the palette. Love the packaging. Love the box like I showed you guys before. The box is a statement piece. Keep the box. That's just artwork in and of itself. For me personally, I prefer it when my palettes have the names in the palette versus outside the palette on like a film sheet or on a piece of cardboard. That's just me, so I'm not a really big fan of just having the names on this cardboard sheet because what if I lose this? I don't know what the shade names are. The palette packaging is great. It has the Pat McGrath Mothership Use Without Caution shade throwing and eye ecstasy may result with prolonged use. It's made in Italy. And you can find it at patmcgrath.com and sephora.com and I think Net-a-Porte, Net-a-Porte, net porter This is like very, very sturdy plastic. Like you can, it's sturdy. You can probably hit somebody with this. Um, and your shadows won't break. And the mirror is so nice. It's a beveled mirror, which that's very unique. I've never seen that with a, uh, palette before the eyeshadows um as you saw me in the video when i was working with the mattes definitely i would have preferred that the palette be half mattes half shimmers that's just for me because i prefer doing a lot of my heavy duty blending with mattes um that's just for me i i would rather have more mattes than shimmer than more shimmer than mattes the two brown shades they tend to pull more neutral cool on me which i was hoping that they would be more warm like they are in the pan but um it's not terrible it's it actually looks really really pretty um but i would have preferred them to be more warm the purple extreme overgene oh my god um purples are very hard to formulate most times purples do not do well for this really dark purple i had a hard time when it came to applying it and blending it it did not want to stick and once it did stick, it did not want to move, which as you guys can see, like if you go back, it did it did not want to blend. Like I, it took me a quite a bit of time just to blend it out. And I really didn't like that. Do I think this is worth $125 and you should get it? Um, Pat is luxury, so I can see the price point. Her packaging, I feel like a lot of her packaging is really well done so um, you're paying for the packaging you're paying for the formula because her formulas are really good especially her lipsticks and lip glosses it's cute to have for, as a statement slash luxury piece that you pull out like once in a blue moon when you really want to feel expensive but it's not something that I could see myself using every day like I said this is a once in a blue moon type palette um, I wouldn't pay 125 bucks out of pocket for this if you got the money to and you really want it then go for it but for me personally I would not spend 125 bucks out of pocket like I said before I used a gift card that I got for Christmas as well as saved up my Sephora points to buy this so overall the bronze seduction palette it's a it's a meh it's a meh kind of palette and normally with me I'm very picky with my makeup. So it's very rare that I think of a product. I think a product is meh. That can be a little bit better. The shimmers are really great. They're just a bit fallouty, which fallout happens with anything. But um, the mattes need improving. Mattes are a bit of a drier texture than what I'm used to, and I'm used to working with pretty dry mattes. If you're interested in purchasing it, and you got the money, and you really want it, then get it but for me this is just a cute piece to have in my collection when I want to feel expensive then I'll pull it out hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what you think about this review of the Pat McGrath bronze seduction palette um, let me know if you have tried this palette yourself what do you think I know I'm really late to the party 
make sure you follow me on my social media. Instagram and Twitter are at bemzabiola if you want to just like contact me directly if you want to talk to me. I'm very active on those two platforms. Snapchat is I love to profile. I'm trying to start getting more back into Snapchat again. I'm trying to get back into it. So Snapchat is I love to profile. All the links are down below. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.